Fortunately, even though it is very cloudy, things are still much better uh, right now than they were this time yesterday. It's very windy that we do have for sure, but things will be improving certainly by tonight. So let's go ahead and take a live look outside. Another look. Uh, yeah, chock full of clouds this noon. Mostly cloudy and 59 degrees in Central Park with winds out of the north at 10 miles an hour, but we're seeing gusts to about 23. That's in Central Park. Temperatures ranging from the low 50s to the low 60s. We've got 63 for Madison and 64 for Matawan. So, uh, yeah, it is a little bit milder for some, but of course, windy for everybody uh, this noon. So 28 mile an hour wind gusts for Armonk, 29 for Mawa and for Westbury, 30 for Coscob, Connecticut, and 36 mile an hour wind gusts in Sayville. So we have seen some bigger numbers, uh, but as we take a look, we will we'll continue to see some robust wind gusts as we head through the afternoon. This is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 29 mile an hour gusts expected in Sparta, a 32 for Central Park, 51 mile an hour gusts expected in Montauk uh, as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. And then we'll start to see things dying down overnight. By tomorrow, the winds come down uh, to something that is considered a little more like normal. Uh, 5 to 15 mile an hour winds for most. Still a little gusty as we head out uh, toward the east end of Long Island. Your SkyCast satellite and radar shows, yes, some cloud cover, but no rain. The rain has finally, finally moved on. So it really was a rough day and a half uh, stretching into this third day here because this morning we did start with some shower activity, but things are finally dry. Tomorrow will look much better as high pressure fully dominates, but beyond that, we start watching this system. This one is expected to move in on Friday afternoon and it will bring us some more rain. Now it doesn't look like the kind of rain event that we just had, but it is going to be more rain. We head through this afternoon. We get partial clearing for most of the area, so should see a little bit of sunshine, a few more clouds as we head east. Over overnight, things look pretty nice and by tomorrow should be mostly sunny for most of the area. But on Friday, the clouds quickly increase and by six o'clock now, it looks like we'll be seeing some rain. So this is actually a little bit later. We will keep you posted on the timing, but just know Friday afternoon and Friday evening right now is looking fairly soggy with some of the heaviest rain coming through overnight. So this is two o'clock Saturday morning, but we still have a chance for rain throughout the day on Saturday. How much rain when it's all said and done? At this point, it looks like we'd see anywhere from a half an inch to just over an inch of rain, and that's going to be Friday into Saturday. Overall, as you take a look at your weekend, it's not bad. Uh, Saturday has a chance for rain. 63 degrees. Sunday is trending a little dryer, which is nice for Halloween. If the kids are going uh, trick or treating, it does look a little better. We'll call it partly sunny, 63 degrees. And then early next week actually looks very nice, mostly sunny and in the low 60s. But today we do have to deal with the wind and the possibility of more down trees and down power lines. After all this, at least the kids get a good day for at Halloween. All right, at least. Thank you so much.